In this video, we're going to be looking at how to convert a decimal number to its binary equivalent. Um, before we look at the procedure, let's uh, take, for example, a very simple number, for example, 5, and look at its um, binary equivalent, so it's 101. What this is telling us is that to get the number 5, you multiply 1 by 2 to the 0, multiply this 0 by 2 to the 1, multiply that 1 by 2 to the 2, add these powers of 2, and you'll get your number 5. This is basically what it's telling us. Now how do we go from this 5 to this representation? Um, we make use of a, a very fine property that basically tells us that when you divide by 2, a binary number, you're basically just shifting it to the right and dropping whatever number is to the right. So for example, if we were to take 101 and dividing that by 2, it would give us of course we're talking about integer divisions so we don't really care about the rem remainder so it would give us one zero which basically is two to the zero plus two to the one which is two so five divided by two is equal to two with a remainder so we've looked at this part so any number you could actually represent it in this manner you could say that it's that number divided by two times two where this is just integer division with no concern for the remainder plus the remainder. So in this case our remainder would be 1. So we're going to be making use of that to actually convert decimal numbers to binary numbers. And how we're going to do it is basically just shift our uh, our number, which is 5 in this case for example, shift it to the right uh, multiple times and this equates to dividing it by 2 multiple times and every time we shift it to the right we're just going to keep the remainder and that's going to be the bit that we're looking at right in this case when we shifted this to the right it gave us this remainder 1 this was our result 2 and the remainder was 1 and this was our bit this was the one that we're actually concerned with and then we keep on doing this if we actually divided this by 2 we would get um, just 1 right so this 0 would be our remainder and so slowly we could build our binary representation. So if we actually looked at our 5, the example of 5, right, and divided that by 2, we would get 2, remainder is 1, and then we would divide that again by 2, we would get 1, remainder is 0, divide this again by 2, you would get a 0, um, remainder 1, right? And so this is your binary representation, 1, 0, 1. Um, Let's look at another example, for example 26, you could divide that by 2 and um, you would get uh, 13, remainder 0. Divide that by 2, you would get 6, remainder 1. Divide that by 2, you would get 3, remainder 0. Divide that by 2, you would get 1, remainder 1. Divide that by 2, you would get um, 0, remainder 1 and so this is your binary representation one one zero one zero and this is uh, representing 26 um, so this is a very simple way to a pr procedure to uh, convert your decimal numbers to binary now how do we convert a decimal number that has a fractional part the way to do this is to isolate your whole part from your decimal part say 25 here um, so for this, the whole part, you would use the same approach we just saw here. And for the decimal part, what you would do is you would multiply and divide by 2 every time. So in this case, for example, we would multiply by 2 and um, divide by 2, which is, say, minus 1. Uh, 2 to the minus 1 is basically just half, right? So we're dividing by 2. So in this case, we'd get... 0 0.5 times 2 to the minus 1, right? Um, and if you look at uh, the binary representation, this being your binary point, so in this case we would have 1, 1, 0, 1, right? This is the whole part of the, of the number here. And for these numbers, of course, we looked at uh, these numbers and we said this is basically equals to 1 times 2 to the 0, this is equals to 0 times 2 to the 1, and so on and so forth. Uh, for this side, at the, to the right hand side of the binary point, um, these digits are basically multiplied as follows. So this one would be multiplied by 2 to the minus 1, this one would be multiplied by 2 to the minus 2, this one would be multiplied by 2 to the minus 3, and so on and so forth. So you would add